Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we are going to cover a very famous interview problem called best time to buy and sell stock. On Lead Code, there are four parts of the same problem. Currently, there are four parts. In future, if they are going to add more, we will be providing a solution to that as well. But as of now, we will be covering up four of these parts in separate videos. In this video, we will be covering up best time to buy and sell stock 1, which is the problem number 121 of Lead Code. I will provide the link of all these parts in the description. So let's go through the problem statement. Say you have an array for which the ith element is the price of a given stock on the day i. If you were only permitted to complete at most one transaction, that is buy one and sell one share of the stock, design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. Note that you cannot sell a stock before you buy one, of course. So let us see an example. So this is the example that we have. We have six days and the prices are given as this. Let's say a person who is given the constraints that he can only make at most one transaction. If he know the future, he's going to see that if he's going to buy a unit of stock on the day number two, he will be paying one. And when he's going to sell the stock on the day number five, he will be gaining six. So the net profit that he's going to make is six minus one, which is five. And this is the maximum that he can get. So he was intelligent enough to pick the day at which he will be paying the minimum and to pick the day after the second day which will give him the maximum profit. So what we can do is we can go on each of these days. So we can start on the day number one and day number two, day number three. Let's say we are on the day number three. Then we will be looking from the day number four till the day number six that selling the stock on which of these days is going to give us the maximum profit. Of course, that is going to be the day number five. So for every day, what we are going to do is we are going to buy the stock on that particular day. And from the days which are ahead of this, so let's say we are going to buy the stock on the day number I, then we will start on the day number I plus one till the nth day and we will see the maximum profit that we can make. Now this algorithm is going to give us a complexity of n square because we are going on each of these days and for each of these days we are again going from the day number i plus 1 till the end so this is going to give us n square now we can do much better than this so instead of considering that we are going to buy a stock on the day number i we can consider that we are going to sell a stock on day number i and we have already purchased a stock on some previous day so let's say we are on the day number 3 and we are going to sell this stock we are going to sell it for 5. Now starting from the day number 1 till the day number 3, we must choose a day on which we will be paying minimum to buy the stock and that will be day number 2. So we are going to buy the stock for 1 and we are going to sell it on the day number 3 for 5. So the net profit that we are going to make is 4. Now this profit has to be maximized. We are going to create a variable p which will be containing the profit and we are going to maintain another variable let's say x and this is going to contain the minimum amount that we will have to pay to buy a stock so basically it is going to contain the minimum price till now let us try to dry run this same example so now let's say we are on the day number one and the minimum cost till now is seven this is seven and the profit that we are going to get is the price on this particular day that is seven minus x the minimum amount and that is 7 which is equal to 0 moving on to the day number 2 the minimum price till now is 1 so x will become 1 and the profit will be the price as this particular day that is 1 minus x that is 1 again 0 now moving on to the day number 3 the minimum price till now is 1 the profit will be 5 minus the minimum amount till now that is 1 which is equal to 4 so the maximum profit will now become 4 going to the day number 4 we can sell the stock for a price of 3 and the minimum amount at which we can buy from the previous days is 1 so the profit will be 2 so it is not going to change the global maximum profit again we are going to the day number 5 now we can sell the stock at a price of 6 
and the minimum till now is again 1 it is not going to change so the profit will now become 5 and the maximum profit will change going to the next day we will be selling it for a price of 4 and the minimum amount till now is 1 so 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 it is not going to change the maximum profit hence 5 is the maximum profit till now now let us go and code the same so int x will be the minimum price till now or we can say min price min price initializing this with int max and a profit initializing it with 0 going on each day and first of all minimum price is equal to minimum of the current price and minimum price and then maximizing the profit profit is equal to maximum of profit the current price minus the minimum price finally we can return the profit let us try to run this the space complexity is constant and the time complexity is big of n so there is an error i is smaller than prices dot size it is giving us correct answer let us try to submit and it got accepted so you can check the description box for the next part of this problem and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon if you haven't done already you can check our channel for more such questions thank you